Saturday, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Leandra, and I think I'm just gonna take you guys through either just today or today and tomorrow, depending on what's going on, because I'm trying not to um vlog repetitive things but that's really hard because obviously we're all at home right now and all i can do is repetitive things and the same things over and over and over again so i'm trying not to bore you guys um but welcome to the vlog i'm gonna start today off with appreciation of the little things so you guys know i've had eucalyptus like a fresh eucalyptus plant in my bathroom for since I moved in for like six months, so and I had this one in for six months, I will have the place where I got this because it is such high quality. I don't know if I can say that about, you know, like plants, but it is such high quality and it stayed in my bathroom, like fresh, still smelling good for such a long time. It did get like this little like dark mark right in the middle because my shower kind of drips if you guys can see that it kind of drips so it dropped right in the middle and you're not supposed to be really like wetting it that often but even with that it still smelled so good and then i finally decided sometime last week to order a new one just because why not bring in the new and i just got this yesterday and just took my first shower with it it smells so good and it's so full i love it so much i know some people like usually just take some of the plants off because it is quite big if you guys can see it's like a big little it's just like really huge and takes up a lot of space so some people usually just take off some plants but i like how much space it takes up and it smells awesome so little appreciation for my little new eucalyptus plant and i'll have where i get my little plant below because they are awesome we're gonna go ahead and get our day started i actually just got back from working out i think i put the like whatever i did when the clips passed so you guys know what i did for my workout today i've been really good about kind of like starting a routine for myself about what i want to do and um when i want to do it so i tried or i've been doing natasha ocean for a while she's one of the three fitness girls that i actually take advice from that is not like full of shit um so i like her grace fit uk and s james fit there used to be like um gym shark girls but I don't think they are anymore, but they are the only people that I take fitness advice from and who I actually like do the fitness workout because it's actually so good. So I did that and then I did Sydney Cummings, 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 um, 20 minute or 30 minutes band workout. And I was so upset with myself because why would I, why would I put two hard workouts back to back like that? I don't know, but I finished it and got ready. Now I'm just gonna make a brunch because it's 1255 we did get a late start to today because it is Saturday um, I woke up at my usual time at 750 to get my day started at 8 and then I realized that it's Saturday so why am I waking up at 8 a.m. to do what exactly I don't know so I went back to bed and yeah we're having a late start I'm just gonna make some brunch really quick and then we have errands to run, some schoolwork to do, and we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill. You guys, my middle part, I lost my rat tail comb. I don't know where it is. I have no clue where it went. It's been missing for like a week. So I've been doing my middle part with my fingers and it looks so bad like i'm not even going to look down so you guys don't see it because it looks that bad um but we're in my car right now obviously i'm gonna go run some errands i love running errands just being in my car and driving right now because i am getting so tired of being in the house just a little restless i mean i mean like i do things obviously i'm productive i do my work but something about just staying in the house all day it's just it makes me feel so angsty yesterday actually i drove to pedro for 45 minutes which is where my family lives and then i went to go pick up my little who you guys have met then i drove back here then i drove to newport and then i drove back to my apartment and it was just so fun like i love running errands and just being here in my car alone driving to go somewhere with like music 
pick my favorite song playing like 20 times because I listen to the same song 20 times or more and I just love that I love going somewhere but today right now at least we are going to oh my god there was a bug on me <laughs> well I'm going to the post office right now because someone bought this cute cute shirt that I bought from Aritzia last summer to wear to at um in italy but i never got to wear it someone bought it and it's gonna make someone really really happy so i need to go send this at the post office and then go to the pharmacy to pick up some medication that i was prescribed i am a little sad though because um this shirt comes with a counterpart it comes with pants and i have both of them so i'm a little sad to separate them but it's okay it's gonna go make someone really happy my glasses are so dirty <laughs> it's fine it's fine everything's fine it is a beautiful day out the sun is out shining everybody's kind of out too i think everyone's getting really tired of staying indoors and yeah it's just nice to be in my car and driving to go somewhere post office is such an adult thing to do or an adult place to go to because who really understands what's going on at the post office like do you guys understand what's going on at the post office because i never do i was there i went in line for like 10 minutes why was i in line for 10 minutes i don't know but everybody else was in line for 10 minutes so i figured i should be in line for 10 minutes and no one there is ever nice like everyone is such in like such a bad mood and i can never figure out where i'm supposed to be then i ask someone and they give me hella attitude and i'm just like i'm sorry like i don't know what's going on here i don't know where i'm supposed to put my package what envelope am i supposed to be using do i need a stamp what is a stamp like i don't even it's just stressful for some odd reason but everything is shipped got my medication and now i am obviously back home i really want some kombucha right now like really really badly i'm trying not to buy um like food out and drinks out anymore starting this month because last month was re ridiculous but i would really love a kombucha right now it is now 2 p.m 2 30 and i'm trying not to get so caught up in like the times because i know i talked about like my routine last video and i've been catching myself getting really stressed out when i feel like i'm really behind schedule and have to remind myself like i am doing this for fun <laughs> like i don't necessarily need to have a routine i don't need to be doing this this is for fun and i can just chill and relax and don't need to be stressing out about oh my god yes the ac is on so hot outside but yeah i don't need to be stressing out about the fact that i'm behind or behind or anything it is also saturday so i'm just kind of trying to go with the flow and just chill out relax and still get everything i need to get done so next up on the things to do today is schoolwork of course annoyingly enough i have two assignments well, i have one assignment due at 10 p.m tonight and it's for my statistics class i already started it so i'm almost halfway done through it i just need to finish that up and then i have reading for my research class and um that's going to be a little bit more of like a huge like it's a lot of reading probably shouldn't complain because i'm going to law school and i'm probably going to be reading a shit ton but it is a lot of reading so we're gonna do that i need to like highlight because there is a quiz on monday and it's based on that reading and the lecture so i need to highlight some stuff and make sure i'm really paying attention but let me go ahead and click some things on my to-do list that i've already done to make myself feel better and yeah we're just gonna start doing work right now i'm just having like a good day that's good i'm having a good day
currently in the process of doing my skincare routine obviously right now i'm in my refrigerator because last night i was crying last night and i will tell you guys why i was crying last night but i'm trying to fix it because i was like what the heck is that because today I have to film like a sit down haul video for you guys and my eyes are so puffy <laughs> they're so puffy I will explain to you guys why I was crying but I'm gonna try and fix it really quickly I just recently I've been just adding stuff to my skincare routine because I have the time to do that I mean like what else am I supposed to be doing right now so I've just been adding stuff I got a big package from Wish Trend which I feel like every time I get on here I talk about Wish Trend but it's like they're such an awesome company one and their products are so so good because first of all look at my little skincare thing just sets on sets on sets on sets they really keep me like all stacked up i got all the stuff that i ran out of over the last couple months because this has lasted me for so long so i got a bunch of stuff um that i ran out of and recently i was researching like skincare and there are some people that i just watch in general and they always use a face roller so i got this little face roller and this added attachment i don't know if you guys can see how cold that is because I've kept it in the frizz, fridge, freezer. I've kept it in the freezer for um, like a couple of days now. This is like the, this is the face roller and then this is the eye attachment of the face roller. So you're supposed to use it to get to like the smaller areas that you would um, not be able to reach with this i guess what is wrong with my camera I don't know what's wrong with my lighting this morning but i guess i'm just gonna have to hold the camera but anyway this is the face roller and then i have the little eye attachment and i've kept it in the freezer and you can just go ahead and like switch it you put like your serum and then you like switch it doing this with one hand is so hard <laughs> And it's so cold and this one actually vibrates i don't know if you guys can hear that but it vibrates and i'm gonna try and use it to um calm down my eyes this is for my girls who you know put on music just to cry i do it for you guys <laughs> but it feels so good and you're supposed to like hold it on there and it just feels so good it's so cold Mm, I don't think you're supposed to put it on your eyeball though, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, now on to why the hell I was crying last night. Okay, this has been happening to me off and on for the last couple of days and it's all because of the r kelly documentary that's on netflix well there's two um, parts of the documentary they released part one i believe sometime last year and i watched that and i think i told you guys i watched that when they released it and then i think i think it was last week they released part two and for some odd reason part two just really like hit different for some I don't know why but it just did um obviously i don't know if you guys have seen it but if you guys have heard about what the hell r kelly has been up to for the last fucking 30 something years but um i guess trigger warning it has to do with sexual assault especially of minors and the documentary basically focuses on these women explaining their stories a lot of them have obviously told their stories before but weren't necessarily believed which is a really um common thing that happens with sexual assault especially when it comes to um really popular figures male figures in any type of industry when they're accused of sexual assault it's usually really easy to you know victim blame or not believe the victim or think that they're out for money or whatever and these women are on the documentary and they're just kind of explaining their story the way that they do it is like in a timeline sort of fashion and um i don't know why i was watching it and it was really really hard to watch and then it got to i think it was towards the second to last episode and they introduced um his ex hair braider braider and she was the one in charge of obviously braiding his hair i guess when he would like go on tour whenever he needed his hair braided and he assaulted her also i think he, she was one of like the oldest people who he assaulted um she was about 24 and when they did the interview she's 
I think 50 something now and for some odd reason just like her her interview and the, her story and the way that she was speaking was just so heartbreaking for me like this like older woman now like she was just crying the entire time she was speaking and you could tell how much this just ruined her just entirely as a person and that's not even to say that the other uh, girls their stories weren't heartbreaking because they are all of them are incredibly heartbreaking but I there was just something about her and the way that like her her posture and the way that she was talking about it and the, the fact that she couldn't stop crying and she's so much older now and she's still like it's it's like she's reliving this this experience and uh, you're watching her relive this experience and it was so heartbreaking and with i don't know why i have so much saliva in my mouth right now i'm just like nervous i don't know but there um with all of the stories of these women it's so obvious you know how they felt like r kelly meant a lot to them as like a mentor as a father figure as something they were missing in their lives and he just kind of like took advantage of this and you ruined them in a way that i just can't even begin to imagine how it feels like and it just made me really really sad and for the last couple of days just randomly i will just get really sad about it and yesterday after uh, we went out to the lawn we were like watching the sunset and everything and i was like enjoying like a nice peaceful moment and i just thought about it again and i just thought about the fact that that happened to these women and that they're i'm laying here enjoying the sunset and there's a really good chance that that is happening to someone else at this very very moment and it just made me so 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 sad and just kind of helpless because i don't know what i can do um for them i also think in retrospect in all like grand aspect of things um it just made me sad too to realize that you know black women because one of the things that they touch on in the documentary is r kelly's victimology i guess I, I think that's the right word in just like the type of girls that he decided to prey on and they mention it throughout the entire documentary mentory that he preyed on um specifically you know black girls from low-income neighborhoods or coming from just not very um high income places with you know single family homes just like girls who are vulnerable specifically black girls who are vulnerable because he knew that no one would care no one would give a shit and it, it, it's the truth when it comes to these girls in this documentary because no one really gave a shit you know like there's a grown man who is walking around with you know like like loads of 15 16 year old women and no one cares because these girls are like black and if he was doing this with you know girls who weren't black you know like white girls it probably would have gotten a lot more traction and probably would have um been stopped a lot earlier and it just made me so sad because i think black women in general are nurturers um since i feel like the beginning of time for generations for decades just nurturers whether that is voluntarily with their own children or involuntary involuntarily when it comes to like things like slavery and having to take care of other people's children um black women are nurturers they are um growers I, I don't know if that makes sense but like they help other people grow they nurture they take care of they 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 just they build people and who is nurturing and taking care of and building black women who is doing it who's gonna do it like it's just kind of like sad it's just really sad but yeah, i don't know it just made me really sad so i um yeah i don't know it just makes me really sad you know as a black woman as someone who um, obviously comes from black women like my mom my sister you know my siblings uh, people around me you guys who are watching this who are black women it just makes me really really sad but i decided um 
I decided like a while back that I was going to sign up to be like a victim's advocate and I signed up for it but now because of COVID-19 they've kind of like pushed it back um, because I need to take a specific type of training to be allowed to you know go and volunteer in person um, and actually speak to victims of either domestic violence or you know like sexual assault or anything like that so I need that certificate um, I think from what I saw like the latest update is that they won't be able to um, let us do it until July um, but I just I felt so helpless that I like emailed them and I was like hi so when can we get this going because I just want to help so much I just I don't know I feel like I don't know it's just a sense of feeling like you know black women help so much and have always helped for generations and we're just you know it's almost like no one really cares which sucks it sucks but I'm gonna try my best to try and help the best way that I can right now and maybe later on when I have my law degree we can help on an official level so I actually went and laid back down after I finished filming the little section you guys just saw just because you know it's Sunday and just because um, George was also like in bed still sleeping so he influences me badly but now I'm just gonna go ahead and do what needs to get done something I didn't do yesterday just because I had more school stuff to do today I have a lot less school work to do um, so I have a princess poly haul I'm gonna sit down and film today and I guess I'll take you guys behind the scenes of that so you can see how I do like guess sponsored content I mean you guys have seen like my wish trend stuff but most of the time my wish trend stuff is not sponsored I just love talking about them but I've been in the process of making this haul for a long time and they've been the company and the person that I've been talking to from Pisces Polly has been so understanding of like circumstances and helping me like switch clothes because at first it was going to be like a Miami haul because I was supposed to go to Miami for spring break um, so I had like clothing for that and then it just switched to more like laid back casual um, because of everything that's been going on and that transition has been so seamless with them and they've been so understanding and sending me stuff fast like I love it so much and most of the stuff that I got has already like been in my cart so it was really exciting to finally press check out <laughs> um, so I guess I'll just take you guys behind the scenes of that right now we've got a little layout so these are all the clothing and some of them are just ones I have from wherever else just I think would go good with some outfits the thing with person Polly is they have really good high quality stuff and it sells out so 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 fast so I think there was like a sweat pants that I wanted to get that I just over the last two months that I've been working with them to try to get this haul going I was unable to get because it just comes on and then it just sells out so usually what I do with these hauls and I have not done hauls in such a long time um, usually what I do is I'll lay out the outfit so things that I got from them and then put some clothing that I already have from wherever else out to see which outfits goes great and then um, obviously I will film I need to go ahead and get my tripod because I don't know where it is and I need to also clean up a little bit because this is kind of the section that I like filming stuff in because it just looks kind of professional but there's stuff everywhere you guys can see this like stuff everywhere and just like that wine glass has nothing in it why is it in here I don't know I used to wonder how people's like houses and apartments get so dirty so fast and now I know <laughs> um, since it's just not my stuff it's me and my boyfriend's stuff uh, so both of our messes all the time just around but I'm excited to start filming I need to do my makeup usually I just do like foundation and then we're gonna get this ball rolling filming this on my phone because my camera is set up but the things you have to go through to get the shot so we have everything is kind of rearranged and i'm in the middle of filming right now i love this outfit i'm filming in this outfit because i love it so much especially these shorts you guys should go check out the video should be up before this one so make sure you check that out i am sweating <laughs> Just finished filming. Um, when I tell you guys that it smells sweaty in here, please believe me because it does. It really does. Um, 
I'm a sweaty gal and that took absolutely forever. It is almost 5 p.m. I would know exactly if I could find my phone, but I can't. Uh, I don't know where it is. I also I need to like put it on the charger to charge because it's on 10 percent battery i've been taking a lot of selfies because all the clothes are so cute and i love them so much um obviously some of them i've already been wearing what i wore yesterday was all princess polly and these shorts that you guys are gonna see on the haul is princess polly i love these shorts so much i'm sweaty my edges are completely completely not strained anymore because i've been sweating so much but i'm excited for you guys to see all the stuff that i bought from them i really pride myself in not being one of those people who or one of those youtubers that buy clothes and then ends up on my poshmark um a couple of weeks afterwards because i tell you that i love it and then it'll just end up on my poshmark if you don't think it's favorite youtuber does that they do they do do that i found that out the hard way <laughs> but sometimes everyone just cannot be trusted when it comes to clothes that they completely adore but they don't really and it's just on their poshmark for like 10 times the price for some reason but yeah just finished took me forever i think it's just because it's sunday too so i'm just kind of like taking my time i was like dancing at one point i was just vibing i love this shirt too this is also from princess polly it was supposed to be for miami isn't it just perfect for miami it's just like the color it just ugh, makes me so sad but yeah just finished um i think i have a page left of the article that i was reading yesterday for my research class i have one more page left to read and highlight and then i have to like transfer the information i i want to transfer the information to like a google doc so that i can have it easily accessible for the quiz for the quiz <laughs> for the quiz tomorrow because it is an open book quiz i just don't want to be going to and from the article and the quiz i think it'll be a lot easier to do the quiz and a google doc with all the information i think will be on the test or that i will need to know for the quiz so i have to do that and then after that we are basically done for the day with uh, like my obligations i want to go back outside and enjoy the sunset again or just chill out for like two hours just outside um same thing as we did yesterday so today should be or this vlog should be a pretty relaxed vlog sorry i'm like feeling myself i haven't put makeup on in so long i've missed how my face looks like with makeup hi key <laughs> I am so in love with the lighting in the bedroom right now it looks so cool but hey what's up hi it's been a minute I just finished doing all like the necessary schoolwork stuff finished reading my article um, wrote everything I needed to write and I've decided that I'm just going to stay on my balcony because I'm really enjoying the little hammock uh, I think you guys saw it in like a little clip that I showed. I have this little hammock that we bought at Walmart for really cheap. So I just want to like chill there instead of go to the lawn like we did yesterday because I don't know. I just don't want to go all the way down there and put my mat out and then also take like the umbrella because we have an umbrella. I just don't want to do all of that. George is going to go on his run. So I think I'm just going to be on the balcony today. But I forgot to mention the bikini that I wore yesterday, which is the exact same bikini I'm wearing right now, except it's like one of those three types of bikini so you can wear it three different ways i got this bikini and a bunch of other bikinis like it from a brand called garage i'm pretty sure that's how you say it. i love love that brand i am obsessed with that brand they're everything to me at the moment and i bought a bunch of bikinis for miami my spring break vacation so i have all of them actually right over here in this package right here i just I actually have not tried them on this is the first time or yesterday was the first time I actually attempted to wear it and I knew I was gonna love them and it's just so pretty it, like glitters in the sunlight at least this one does I have like four 
different colors of the same bikini just because they're so versatile and so cute and it looks good on anyone with any type of chest size and i need that because i have no chest I'm just wearing it like this today and then yesterday i had the back portion that you guys see right here i had it up on my shoulders you guys saw you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah i'm just gonna put on some sunscreen and then go back outside just lay out i'm listening to jazz right now and just kind of enjoying the slow times. Mm -hmm. 